Hello, my name is Shakti and I'm a professional accountant. I am also a professional accountancy tutor on the ACCA exams. Over the years of teaching the professional accountancy qualification, I have seen that students make regular mistakes while studying and also sitting for the exams. In this video, I'm going to share some tips on how to study and pass the exams. Let's go. Let's dive into tip number one. Maybe you are studying the ACCA qualification on a full-time or part-time basis. Now, one mistake is students don't take enough time to study the different levels in ACCA. ACCA has three levels, level one, level two, and level three. If you're studying full-time, it's okay to take level one completely at one go, meaning you can sit for the free exams at one go. But if you're working, it's probably you do two papers at a time. Now, when you move to level two, even if you're studying full time, my advice would be to take two papers at one sitting. And when you move to level three, depending on your workload, take one paper at a time or even two papers. I wouldn't recommend that you take three papers while studying for level three. So then that's one mistake that students do. They don't take the time to study the different levels according to their work plan. Tip number two, when you're studying the ACCA, you have to bear in mind that some papers that you do at level one have some connections to level two and level three papers. For instance, if, you, if you've done the management accounting paper at level one, you can probably move on to do performance management in level two. That could be your next move. Or if you've done management accounting in your year one, you could also go and do financial management in your year two. Similarly, if you've studied financial accounting in your level one, you can move on to level two and do financial reporting paper because it's a continuity of the level one paper. Tip number three, not planning your studying time. That's a big mistake because students come on board and study the ACC exams by not having a definite timetable. You need to have a timetable while you study the ACCA. For instance, you need to study three hours uh, every day or maybe six hours during the weekend. But if you've decided that you will have that study time, it needs to be constant study time. Now, over the my years uh, teaching professional accounting, I've noticed that if you study at least one hour every day, it will help your understanding of the subject area. Or if you dedicate two hours or even three hours every weekend, this will help your progression. The next tip while studying your accountancy papers is you need to read business news and finance news. One mistake that you do is you are only studying to pass the exam and passing the exam is not enough. You need to master the topic areas. So if you're not watching news channels such as the BBC or Bloomberg or even CNN, you are not going to gather professional expertise for the papers. So that is crucial for passing the different papers in the ACCA. One example is the strategic business leader paper where your understanding of the broader finance area is absolutely key in passing the exams. And then finally, you need to practice exam questions. You need to set dedicated time to practice from the revision kits maybe questions that have been asked in the past so that you familiarize yourself with the type of script that is expected from the students. There you go. Those are my tips on how to study and pass the ACCA exams. 
all the best in your studies.